You're watching the Fox 5 Morning News at 9. I've been looking forward to this all morning long. I can get up from the news de desk and come in the kitchen and actually cook. Passover starts in a few weeks at Debbie Kornberg. She's the owner of Spice and Leaf. She is standing by Carmel Valley. She's going to show us how we can get ready for the holiday. It's like the holiday time. You got Passover, my Persian New Year's coming. It's like all kinds of parties. I mean, Good COVID, morning. COVID friendly parties, of course, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're going to talk about, how to make Passover COVID friendly. We've been doing this for a year now. It's actually going to be the second time we are having Passover, um, unfortunately not together, but we've gotten a little smarter. We've learned a whole lot about Zoom and how to utilize it. So I had a couple of suggestions of how to adapt, even though we can't be together for Passover before we get to the cooking, and I know you're super excited. I am but. super excited, and I'm glad you're bringing this up, because Debbie, I was just thinking yeah. about this yesterday as I'm getting ready to talk about our Persian New Year, the first day of spring that's coming. Last year, I was crying, like it was a shock. It was right around this time, the yeah. first time in my lifetime I've spent the holiday without my family. It seems like the shock is worn off now, and like you said, we're, we're figuring it out, and we're, we're gonna have a good yeah. time. We are. So Zoom has a lot of great features. You can do polling questions for Passover. We're all about asking questions. Uh, you could do breakout rooms with, between the kids and the adults to give everybody Ooh. their time. You know, the kids are always dying to get away from the table as soon as they eat their food. Do a breakout room. Let the kids have their space. The adults can have their space. They can talk with each other. They can play games over Zoom. So those are a couple of ideas. For Passover specific, and I don't know if it applies to uh, the Persian New Year, but we drink four cups of wine. And so my suggestion <laughs> is try four different kinds of wine and do a taste testing together over Zoom and then you can talk about it. I'm stealing that tradition from yours. I'm gonna include that in whatever <laughs> celebration we do. I'm all Fun. about that, I'm all about that. Okay, yeah. so you do yeah. four glasses of wine and you yeah, know, and I, and I also or want to- grape juice, you could- do juice, juice too. Kids. Okay, I want to use different flavors. <laughs> I want to also add today that we've been reporting on the on the morning show that the word is now that if we have fully vaccinated people in small gatherings, the CDC is now saying that it if you're fully vaccinated out of that window, you can gather in very small small family mm -hmm. groups. So that might be something that you do. It's just something very very small this year. Exactly. Well, I only have gotten my first vaccine. I haven't gotten my second one yet. So I got a few more weeks before that happens. Thank God my parents are vaccinated. So we're getting there. We're getting we're there. We're getting there. Let's get to the yummy food now because we're, we're, we're going to cook and uh, enjoy the holidays through our food. So what are we making today? And is this part of Passover, what we're about to make? Yeah, so you can see I've got my little Passover set up here. I got my Seder plate, my matzah cover. Uh, we are making a gluten-free almond cake. Mm. And so for Passover, we omit bread and wheat flour. So okay. we are using almond flour, which is permitted. Oh, okay. So Let's that's make what it. You have, but, but for anybody who is gluten-free, you can just make this. So we, I have, you should have your melted margarine right there. I got it. We're going to dump it into your bowl. Dump it into my bowl. You know, we cook and we dump and cook. That's yes, how we do it. Yes, dump and cook. <laughs> you, you have your big cup of sugar. It's Sh one and a half cups. Okay. By the way, this was one and a half sticks of margarine or butter. Excellent. Gonna dump in your sugar. Mix that up. Okay, got it. And um, while that's going, if your eggs are not cracked yet, this is what we're going to do is mix this up and then crack one egg in at a time and mix this up and you'll cook your stirring with just a fork. This is all you need for this cake. Okay. Super easy. And then once your first egg's broken in there and mixed in, you can go ahead and add your second egg. After that, we Oops. are going to add, okay. you got this. We're gonna add our almond extract. It's almond two extract. Okay. Yours is pre-measured. Pre-measured. So Oh, that smells so good. Go. Oh, oh, oh. Right? This oh, is oh. going to taste like a marzipan cake. One mm. teaspoon of vanilla extract. Vanilla extract. In. Okay. Oh. Add your salt. Pinch salt. of salt. Oh, pinch of salt. Okay. Well, this is going to be sweet. You'll, you'll need something. Yeah, you'll need something. It. Okay. Got those. Now what? 
one teaspoon of your oatmeal spice blend. It's our cinnamon cloves, cardamom. Oh. I've baked, used this with you before. I know you like this I one. I do, and I love your spice blends. You make my life easy because everything is already like mixed up and ready to go. That's it. Okay. Oh. Everything's mixed in. That oh, wow. smell. Do you yeah. smell it? Yeah. Even Jose behind the camera. We're pretty <laughs> far apart from one another. He goes, oh, wow. <laughs> The almond extract in the spices really carry. Okay, okay, one and a half cups of almond flour. Almond flour, don't, that's this, okay. That's just minced up almonds. You could do this at home. You don't have to buy it, but if you want it pre-done. Okay, this is the entire cake. Once this is mixed in, you have your baking pan, your yes. square baking pan, and a piece of parchment paper. I got it. And I'm using a round one. Just go ahead and lay it on top. I'm going to mix mine up a little bit more. Yeah, because you're going to put... Oh, my fork fell in. Whoops. All right. Mix it up because this is going to go in the oven at 350. Okay. And then somebody's going to wear gloves and share this. Somebody's going to wear gloves and share this. You hear this? And cut it up. You cut it up. I'm going to give this all to Jose. Did I do this right? I'm going to give it all to Jose. Jose, you earned it there for having go. to sit here and smell all of this while we're cooking. <laughs> You can take okay. this Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So this is a really easy <laughs> Passover cake. And I put it in the parchment paper so that way I don't have to worry about greasing the pan and having it stick. Okay. And you're going to magically put this in the oven and take one out. So you're going to bake it for a uh, magical 40 minutes. Magical bake it for 40 minutes. Take it out of your oven. Da, da, da. Ta -da! And then you can just literally pop it out of the parchment paper, just like that, oh, and stir it a, up. I was going to put it on a pretty plate, but whatever. Um, so what is the sugar like and the almonds for? This is just to top it at the end, or you put that oh, yeah. on the cake? I totally forgot that. <laughs> Quickly take it out of Quickly the oven. Quickly take it out. You take it out and show us. I don't, I don't put it. Just, I just, so you there. just topped it with you a little bit of sugar? You just sprinkle it on top. And then almonds. Yeah, just, yep. And you can put on a little extra spice. I totally forgot. I'm not. Every time. I'm not waiting, oh. Debbie. This is amazing. Thank you this for doing this today. I was you craving so something welcome. a little bit sweet. So I'm taking out a little yeah. piece. As I said, hey, by the way, if you yeah. want Debbie's recipes, you go to our website, foxfaxsandiego.com, click the scene on tab. Debbie, thank you. Uh, Happy Passover. What, just, what do you say? What do you say, say during Passover? Oh, you say Chag Sameach, and I have Chag a free Sameach. Passover cooking class coming up. Okay. So it's on March 17th. It's free. Jewish National Fund USA. You can go to jnf.org slash LA Cooking with Deb. Free class. Anybody can join. The beauty of Zoom. All over Zoom. Got it. We'll put it up on our website, Fox Eye San Diego. Uh, awesome. Click the scene on top. Say it again. What do I say? Oh, Chag Sameach. Chag Sameach. That's it. You got Thank it. You. And happy Purim New Year. Thank you. Oh, this is good. <laughs> Raul, I'm bringing some for you. Wait, I can't. I'm allowed nope. to. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. How do you say Happy New Year in Farsi? No, Ruzatun Pirus. New Vujatun un Puz. Yeah. How'd I do? Did I get it? You got it. Wow. Rooty tooty, fresh and fruity. <laughs>